Good afternoon, it's Pamela from Yorkshire in the north of England. I'm here to talk about crochet. Uh, still haven't got a, a lot done because I've not been feeling too good, as you know, this week. A bit blocked up. Hopefully it's coming out now. Um, now, the only thing I've completed um, is, um, you know, Cassandra at Cleftably Ever After, she was doing the non-cow, which is Miffy, but using art as an inspiration. So I uh, I used the free pattern that she recommended, which is available on Lovely Craft, and it's the I don't think it says what designer name is on this one. Oh yes, it does. Sorry, it's a uh, it's Berry Benita Benita Berry Benita, um, and she's got she's on Instagram Ravelry and Etsy. So that's the free pattern of Miffy. Uh, I, if I'm going to pick a, a, an artist, I really like um, like your Jack Vecchiano style, uh, but I do like Impressionism. Um, if I had to pick an era from history, I'd say impress, Impressionism. And um, I was looking for one that I could do. Um, and uh, I wanted to do the poppy one, the poppy fields. But then, if you remember when I did the pig, I used the Rika Romy Spin Spin uh, uh, yarn cake. And it had just gone on to the green and yellow. Well, the start of that um, yarn cake is like uh, blues, mauves, um, greens, and then to the yellow and obviously goes on to the pink and what have you after that so that reminded me you see of Monet colours so I'm having a look through uh, Monet's pictures not a huge expert I do like the colours but I'm not a huge expert uh, and I found one which was uh, uh, a woman uh, the woman with the parasol and this is a, a painting he did of his wife and child so and funnily enough the parasol is the green and it looks like the green and yellow colours that's all I've got left of that ball by the way uh, which is pretty good um, so I started at the middle to get the colours of the uh, you know the purpley colours and the sky and all that so this is mine I'm having to be gel delicate because I haven't glued in the um, uh, parasol to the body. Uh, I've just stuck it, uh, just, well, I, I, I fashioned the cat parasol. Instead of doing the carrot, I did a reverse carrot and left it open at the top and then put a bit of uh, lace in a shroud as if, it, as if it were a parasol. And then did some lines as if it's the spines down a parasol. Um, so, and it was the right colour was that. I would have tried to do an open one, but like I say, that's all I had left, so I would have run out. So, and then I used a cocktail stick for the middle and I've wrapped white, white cotton round it, just to, you know, try and give the illusion of an handle. So, yeah, I think it's come out rather well, actually. I'm really pleased with it. Uh, I didn't use safety eyes because I thought I wanted to maybe it probably for a, a child and um, I obviously wouldn't give him the cocktail stick if it was for a child that's why I haven't stuck that in or sewn it on or whatever so and instead of doing the using blush makeup I, I just put a bit of uh, pink for blush cheeks and just did the cross for the mouth like it is on the pattern um, Really impressed with the pattern, very easy. Um, so yeah, chuffed with that. Like I say, if you look at the picture, which I will put one in, the parasol is those sort of colours. So I'm quite chuffed that I spotted that in what I left over from that row. Um, I got uh, a Yosemite 2.5mm hook on it and really pleased with, with how it's come out. So I think that's it really. I, like I say, I used the, what were left of the Rika Rumi Spin Spin in the rainbow colour. I just used for the rest of it, I used the white, uh, which is my signet, 100% cotton, DK in white. 
um, the eyes and the cross for the mouth are just is uh, cedar, apricot and licorice and the cheeks are in stylecraft, naturals, bamboo and cotton and I don't know the colour of that one, just a pink. So yeah, I've, I've, I'm, I'm chuffed with how, how she's come out. I've, I've submitted her for the non-cow. I didn't know, I, I couldn't remember how long exactly we had, but I think Sandra said we had, we had all this week. So that is me done. I, I still haven't put any more markings on the Jaguar. Not 100% sure if I wanted, to be honest. I, I quite like him as he is, and thanks for all the nice messages about him. Um, I'm not... Uh, I haven't done this week's square yet, I've just started it and um, I haven't done the video yet for the next uh, Buy Your Car by Crook but like I said that is going to be Gosford Park, the film. Um, I think that's about it, um, fairly busy weekend planned um, uh, so I don't know if I can come back on at the weekend, if I can I'll do that Buy Your Car by Crook video. Um, otherwise I'll see you next week. Have a great weekend everybody. Happy crafting. I'll see you.